Hello Pisces, welcome to your weekly reading. I hope you're all doing really well. I hope you enjoy the reading and the messages that come through from Spirit. Let's take a look at your week ahead. I'm going to call in your angels and guides, spirit and source energy. Guidance for Pisces, please. Pi Pisces, guidance for Pisces. This is a general reading, so please take what resonates for you personally and just leave the rest. For private reading specific to you, please visit katietarot.com. Guidance for Pisces, please. Spirits, messages and guidance for Pisces. Messages and guidance for Pisces, please. Spirit. Messages and guidance for Pisces, please. Spirit, messages and guidance for Pisces. Your energy, Pisces, and the energy around you for the week. Let's take a look at your first message. Touch a star. The more you try, the higher you can go. Pisces, this week it's all about putting in effort. If you put in some effort, really dedicate yourself to the task at hand, whatever it may be in your life, okay? So for some of you, it's going to be work-related. That's the first thing that I'm seeing. For others, this is to do with a relationship. But for others, you know, this could be to do with a communication that you're going to have this week. Um, this may be about a life purpose energy or a creative venture that you're looking to get into. But the more you try, the higher you can go. So put your all into this, Pisces. Put your all into this into this uh, venture or this relationship or whatever it is for you specifically. You'll know what it is if it resonates for you, if that message resonates for you. Touch a star. I love it. Carry me home. Support. Time to be carried. Allow others to help. So this week, this may be vice versa. I am seeing that for some of you where another will come to you for advice, reassurance or guidance, Pisces. And I'm feeling that because I feel that their plan is going to unravel in quite a big way. I feel that they have um, got some plans in the works. Your friends or your lover or a co-worker is going to come to you and confide in you because something has unraveled in their life and... They see you as a great support and Spirit is saying you will be a wonderful support to them. So I am seeing this card as more their energy than yours, but it could be your energy. You'll just have to wait and see how this energy pans out for you. Let's take a look at this card here. The Salmon. Faith, determination, independence, and change. There is change on the way, Pisces. And I feel that this is this is a big change, something you've wanted for a while, something you've been hoping for, you've been having intentions toward manifestation. You're wanting a different manifestation. It may be financial. I'm seeing that for some of you. I'm seeing income as important and you're wanting to manifest a change there and you're having faith. I'm seeing that you have faith in this, in this job, in your ability to secure income. I can see that you have faith in this Pisces and that is so powerful. Spirit is saying this is going to go a long way in securing this manifestation for it to come down and be real and a reality in your life determination you've got to stick with it as well just stick with um, what you're doing this week that's important very much ties into this first energy here of the more you try the higher you can go so determination this week just will get things moving in the way that they are meant to and independence is coming through as well so doing things independently letting your own um Having your own autonomy um, is important this week. And yes, I love this Pisces. Get a plan of action. It says here the key words, making plans, seeing the future and making changes. So yeah, we are making changes this week. 
Um, for some of you, it will be a bigger thing. Making plans so then you're able to carry out your plans and then bring through the intention and manifestation that you truly want. And you have a vision here of the future. You can see what potential is there, Pisces. In this relationship or career or life path or creativity, you can see the potential. You can see the potential. And the Queen of Swords. So you may have an air sign around you significant in some way. Pisces, the Queen of Swords energy for you means that you're very direct with your words. You're going to be very on point with any form of communication that you have, especially in the workplace or in a relationship, interpersonal relationship. You're not going to be backwards and coming forwards with what you say. You're not going to be harsh or critical, but you are going to be honest. And I feel that the other person involved here will appreciate that, even if they don't seem to appreciate it to begin with. Yes, I love this Pisces, the wheel of fortune. So fortune is going in your favor. The wheel is turning. It seems like there has been a dip and you have been kind of spinning crazily out of control. So some sort of event or tumultuous energy has been around you, Pisces. And um, this event was out of your control, but it has caused a spiraling effect somehow and some things are now changing um, changing in a way that they perhaps wouldn't change if this event didn't happen but it looks like you're on the upswing here and you're starting to slow down a bit starting to regain composure starting to um, get on top of things Pisces we have the eight of cups so you've walked away either mentally or emotionally, maybe physically walked away from an environment or a relationship that was no longer serving you. The time was up. You have had your energy, um, your energy has been intermingled with this person or in this environment for as long as it has needed to be. And now it's time to move away from that. And you're really clear mentally now in what you want. Yes, I see. So nice. So you have the Ten of Cups. So this is happy families. This is contentment. Um, being around people that you want to be around, that you have heartfelt connections with. This can mean a social gathering. It might mean that you are... Um, getting on well with people in the workplace or your colleagues or the people that work for you um, or in your community there's a sense here of being together and being happy um, and wishes coming true so I love that and we have the three of swords energy I feel that this is because um, there's a Difficult conversation communication happening here uh, this week and that's why this energy of the Queen has come up for you Pisces because you are going to be right on point with what you need to say to this person. You're not going to back down from a confrontation or from speaking your truth. You are going to go full steam ahead with the conversation or with this interaction because you have a cl you have a clarity of mind. You have a clarity of mind here and that's going to be actually quite supportive to the other person involved. Actually quite supportive. Um, so you're not going to be shying away from anything that may be painful um, emotionally. You're, you're, going, you're confronting it. You can see this queen looking head on at the swords. So um, difficult communication, you're looking at straight in the eye and you're moving, um, you're moving toward that to get clarity, to move forward past a blockage, to make some progress in some way. Um, and this can also be because it's swords, it can also be your mental state. Um, and this message here that first came up, the more you try, the higher you can go. For some of you, I can see that it's a mental block or it's procrastination. It's 
avoidance of some things that need to get done, um, you're going to really be looking at those things and and uh, the road is going to be clear. You're going to make a plan and you're going to make things change. So very empowering energy, Pisces, this week. I hope you have a fantastic week ahead and I will talk to you all again soon.